Happy Tuesday. Uh, back here again, working a variation this week from a little bit of a triangle here. Uh, I know a couple weeks ago we put up a nice video here with a lapel control, trapping the arm, stepping over the head from side control, hit, or stepping over the arm rather from side control, getting the triangle. Today we're working it uh, same position, just a slightly different variation. Maybe this could work more no gi, or maybe just a little bit of a different setup for the for the position. Okay. Hope you like it. Thanks. All right, guys. So look, same side control position we've been playing here. Arm is away from the body. I'm under hooking that head, using those two fingers in here, driving down, creating some shoulder pressure here. Okay. Really putting some pressure there with my shoulder. All right. Instead of using the lapel now to open this up and start to trap his arm or feed it underneath here for some choke setups. Okay. All I'm gonna do. Very, very simple, okay? All I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go find that little crook under his elbow. Even if my partner's arm is very tight, if Alex's arm is very tight here, there's always gonna be a little gap under there that I can take advantage of, okay? And I can start to wedge my elbow up as I walk my fingers in a circle here toward my partner's head. Boom, and get that arm away from his body, okay? Now like everything else, nobody likes it when their arm is away from their body. So 99.9% .9 of the time when my partner starts to feel that his elbow is vulnerable here, that his arm is, is kind of weak here and away from his body, he's gonna try hard to close it, okay? My whole goal with this triangle setup is to get him distracted by this so I can simply step over the head when he pulls the arm back into the body. Okay, very, very simple idea. So we're here, okay? Pressure, pressure, pressure. I go under the arm, maybe he's even trying to push me a little bit here and it makes it easier for me to go underneath and boom, he's gonna pull it back down, okay? so. We're here, I start to walk it away here. When I feel Alex start to push back down, I'm gonna let him have it. And at the same time, I'm gonna lean the weight toward the head and take a big step over, okay? So we'll go together now, okay, nice and slow. I'm walking it, I feel him go. I'm gonna switch and step, okay? You'll notice that his arm now is already still tight to that body from the second ago, and I'm gonna pull up on the head, slide my knee underneath just like we did before, okay? And now I'm in a position now where I can start to turn the corner. So I'm gonna take my thigh, I'm gonna take my hips, I'm gonna look over to the side here like this, take all the space out of that position. And now I can attack the arm here very easily here. I've turned the corner. I can attack the wrist very easily, or I could roll here for the triangle. Take it from mount or roll here. So I'm gonna hit that roll over my shoulder. Okay, always holding my shin just like we did before. Foot to the floor, guys. So look, I block out his hip for just a second here. And then I hit my kickstand here with my leg. So look, see how I turn that out so he can't take me over. I dive underneath, switch my angle, and close my triangle. If you want to lift and bring the arm across the body now, it's yours, boom, okay? And then we do our three pressures. Turn the legs in, curl the toes, and pull down on the head for the finish, okay? So very, very simple concept, okay? Nobody wants their elbows to be separated from the body. Very simple idea, okay? So whenever I open this, I know the reaction is gonna be closed, okay? Whenever the door is open, he wants to close it, so let's look one more time, okay? This is really the key. The more you exaggerate this and really make the guy think that you wanna open that arm up, the more he's gonna to wanna to bring it back down, okay? So I'm in my position, I worked hard, I got that arm separated, good shoulder pressure, and I start to go. I wanna be poised here, I wanna be ready to go, so you guys notice how I'm on my toes here? And I'm keeping the weight already leaning toward my partner's head so when I feel the reaction, it's very easy to time it and step over, okay? Alex is a bigger guy, so I may have to actually pull this down a little bit as I step, but I'm doing the same thing. I'm sitting on his chest, I'm pulling up on that head, so it's gonna be very difficult now for him to bail on me from here. Now I can bring this underneath, start to lean immediately all my weight underneath here. Boom, turn the corner. I don't wanna stay in front of him, I wanna turn the corner. So my hips face away and now everything's gonna get tight either here, here, or boom, roll for your triangle. Thanks again for watching guys, Soul Craft Martial Arts, Hamden, Connecticut, we're always here, the mat's always open, your house, okay? Visit us anytime, we'd, we'd love to have you train with us and thanks for the support.